Hi guys, my name is Kier, also known as Hobo Kiki, and today I am planning in my Hobonichi cousin, as per usual. You know this is my favorite planner. I am just going to bust this bad boy open to the week that we're working on, January 22nd through the 28th, using these stickers from The Giving Girl. They finally arrived, you guys. These were the stickers that I were waiting on. These were the stickers that I were planning to use for my uh, New Year's kit. So it was going to be used for January 1st. They are here now. So I am just going to use them for this week. And I am going to use this washi from uh, Simply Gilded. So the very first thing I'm going to do is add the washi to the top and the bottom of my page here. I just thought it would anchor everything nicely and I don't really have much plans for this week so I am just going to allow myself to take up a little bit of space here. I definitely had different plans on how I was going to use this kit. I was definitely going to bring in some like gold foil boxes and fireworks and it was a vision in my head but unfortunately it did not get to come into fruition and that's okay you know that's part of planning is that sometimes you just have to acknowledge that your plans aren't always going to come true and it is what it is and I just want to state that it was uh, not the giving girl's fault Jennifer did everything that she could do it was technically USPS's fault and then again I don't really even blame them too much because you know mistakes happen even though it just it was slightly frustrating we're not gonna lie here we're not gonna lie but we're also not going to like punish people for for mistakes so it is what it is it's still a very gorgeous kit and I did not want to save it and like try to use it for the next new year because oftentimes when I do that I just forget about the stickers and <laughs> I wind up getting a new kit. So I don't want to just hoard it forever and ever. So I said, hey, I have it now. Why not use it? So that's exactly what I am doing here. As you can see, I was thinking about using that rectangle of butterflies for my weekend banner. But then I thought it would be kind of cool to hang this chandelier for my weekend banner. And yes. As per usual, I am making a little weekend banner. You guys know it is not going anywhere, not on this channel. I always will love my weekend banner. Yes, I know it's the weekend. Is it redundant? Yeah, it is, but it looks so cute. So I like making a little design there, and I don't think it's ever going to stop, at least not anytime soon. And I thought I'd hang the chandelier with this little butterfly here. Uh, these foil stickers are also from The Giving Girl, as well as the bowstrung boxes that you're going to see me use throughout this spread here. I honestly did not have a plan for this week. I just, you know, I got the stickers and I said, hey, I don't want them to be hoarded for another year or two or three. So let me just use them now. And I started slapping them down, and I love all the little dually stars that was included. So I definitely wanted to add them. It just brings like a touch of whimsy or like magic. I know that sounds corny, but it looks so cute. I love the dually stars. If you don't have dually star stickers, <laughs> you can always just make them yourself, like literally doodle some stars and as you can see in the kit there's the uh five point stars that we all know and love and then there's also like the stars that kind of look like snowflakes so it's like you could really just doodle some stars and you would get the same effect and it looks so cute i am going to use a gray mild liner for this week and i am using it to mark my work shift and I will be bringing in my Snorlax uh, washi cutter. I, you guys, I have no clue where my straight edges are, <laughs> where my rulers are. 
I don't I I have a whole pouch of my of my like supplies that I use specifically for journaling but the thing is I allow my daughter to use my supplies and I know it's like oh you should have healthy boundaries which is true but also it's just like eh I really don't care that much about them as long as she's not like using my good stickers she knows not to use my stickers like my good stickers she knows the difference between my good stickers and like the stickers that I don't care that she uses but um yeah so I have no clue where my straight edges are, uh, so <laughs> I don't know. We'll we'll find them one day. It's okay. I'm I'm really not mad about it. I honestly find it funny, but it's just like, you know, it'd be nice to not lose everything as long as it's not my tweezers because, you know, it's really just me that loses the tweezers because she doesn't touch my tweezers. It's only me. And for some reason, I'm just cursed with the tweezers. Like, they always go missing, and it has nothing to do with her. I have no explanation as to why the tweezers go missing. But as you can see, I added this moth between Friday and Saturday, and then I'm going to add the doodly stars. And look, it just brings so much more life. I don't know, spunk over to that little area just by adding the stars. So if you don't have little doodly star stickers that's perfectly fine just doodle some stars and it i don't know what it does but it just gives it a little bit more oomph so i would recommend you trying it and yes i am going to put a mood tracker that's my thing that's my jam it's almost like the weekend banner where it's i can i can almost say it never goes anywhere some weeks i do go without it but you know, I, I really do like my mood tracker. So for the most part, it's here to stay as well. I'm also glad that I used this kit this month uh, just because, yes, I am doing the Celestial Goddess theme, but it was just like a nice break from all the blues and purples to just have this harsh, like dark tones, blacks, grays, you know, it was nice. So it was a nice little breath of fresh air here. And I add this tiny little celestial queen in the corner here. And I love it. She's a cutie pie. I felt like that space needed to be anchored. And that was the perfect uh, piece to do it with. And now I'm just adding little stars and doodles all across the uh, bottom. Just because it is rather blank there. And I'm just trying to zhuzh it up a little bit, you know. Give it some decorations. Like I said... Don't have much planned this week, uh, but I do still want it to look a little bit more filled in. I'm, I'm not mad at uh, white space. In fact, I definitely embrace it, but, you know, I just don't want it to look too blank. But that's basically it for the week. This is the before the pin, but don't worry. If you stay tuned to the end, I will show you the after the pin as well. But you guys know I like to set up my daily section as well with the same stickers so we're just going to go ahead and finish off the rest of these stickers here i am thinking i want to add these uh tray of moths slash butterflies to the top and for the most part you guys i do not think too hard about the next steps here i honestly just slap stickers down for my daily sections if you're an og subscriber you already know that. If you're new here, hi, how are you? <laughs> but one, I do like to decorate using the same stickers in my weekly section for my daily section just because I know exactly where I am and it is extremely aesthetically pleasing. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Some spreads I will bring the washi in, some spreads I won't. I guess I decided to slap it down this week Oh my goodness, this week is very like butterfly heavy, which I'm not mad at. I, I know butterflies are like the thing for the planner community. And I'm again, I'm not mad at it. I actually have come to embrace that as well. But you know what the funny thing is, is like for the most part now I'm not. But back in the day, your girl, I guess I was a punk because I was scared scared of butterflies and I think it really was that one Spongebob episode 
<laughs> if you know, you know. But, like, that didn't help. Like, seeing that thing up close did not help me, you know, feel good about butterflies or moths. Same difference to me. I don't know. I feel like moths are worse because, like, not only do they look like that, but they're fuzzy as well. And there's something about it being fuzzy that just adds another level of like discomfort. <laughs> I can't explain it, but I, I feel like moths, they get a bad rap. But, you know, from afar, and I mean from very far away, they're cool. They're cool. Like, I, I don't want to kill a butterfly. Like, it's funny. I guess I'm like a specious when it comes to insects because I would never like harm a butterfly. But if you a spider, you got to go. Or if you're like an ant, you got to go. Even though I, I do know you're not supposed to kill an ant in your house. So I have learned to like trap them and like take them outside. And then I might even kill them outside. <laughs> I just won't kill them in the house. Because if you do that, I guess they release like chemicals that attract the other ants. And it's just like, wow, ants really about that family life. Like they, they gang gang, they gang gang. <laughs> You thought you were gang gang. No, ants are about that life. But yeah, how did we get here? <laughs> Y'all be letting me ramble. I am so sorry. I think about it every once in a while. Like, should I write a script for these YouTube videos? I feel like that's like the YouTuber thing to do is like to write a script or if not a script, like have little bullet points so you don't go off on so many tangents like I do. But also, it's just like, I don't know. I like the freedom of just saying whatever I want to say, even though I know that can be dangerous because their girl just be saying some things. <laughs> you know, it's I I do want to get better at, I don't know, it's just like a, it's a weird balance, right? Because I want to get better at saying or being thoughtful with what I'm saying but then also I do want to have the freedom of just to say what I want to say because it's my channel like not to sound arrogant or anything but it is my channel so I feel like if I want to say something I should be able to say it like this is a safe space that I have created for myself even though there is no such thing as a safe space on the internet and here we go again flying on a tangent I am so sorry let me reel it back are you team butterfly or team moth? This um this washi, I love I love simply gilded washi, but it always frustrates me because of the way that it unravels. I'm used to it unraveling on the other end, but it unravels on an end that makes it very awkward for me. But that's okay. That's just like I guess a first world problem. But I just wanted to mention that. I am going to slap down mini butterfly stickers here, or moth stickers, whatever they are, little galaxy bugs. <laughs> I'm slapping them down. I do want to use the rest of the sticker sheets, so I am going to take a lot of the star doodles and slap them down. There was a little bit of circular, like, doodle design, so I add those to this spread as well. And then I go back and see where I could add more stickers. This is the honest process that I do when doing the daily section. I kind of try to like save stickers, you know, because I don't know when I'm going to run out. And I want to make sure I put at least like one or two decent amount or decent sized stickers on each daily page to kind of you know, make it seem like each page got some sticker love. And then I will go back and add more stickers uh, afterwards, just making sure that I had enough stickers to cover each page. So that was the thought process. Then I wanted to hang this as like a little frame. So I did just that and added a little nail here. Boop, boop. It was so cute to me. <laughs> it's so random, but I love having that there. And I see that I have many more uh, moth stickers that I can add. So, you know, those have to get added as well. And these pages were very blank to me. So I decided to add some more 
insects here and you know it really it really helped i think just adding those uh, moths at the top it made it look less blank and from here i am just going to add my dates and you know that i do from time to time I like to do like this double i don't know it's like a double date thing <laughs> Because I write it in script first, as you can see. No, what is that? Print. I write it in print, and then I go over it in script. And that's, you know, that's nothing groundbreaking, but I just like having it in my journal. Every once in a while, it's different from my little hand script that I like to do. Do y'all want to know a little secret? Sometimes I purposely write the date very big or at least big enough to ensure I'm taking a lot of space. Wow, wow, wow. I just told you guys. <laughs> I just told you guys like a major secret. But I don't know. I'm just very busy this week, and I don't want a lot of space on the page that's going to make me feel like I have to journal for days. So I'm purposely writing in a way the dates to kind of like take a lot of space. So when I get to that page, it's not as much uh, journaling that I feel like I have to do. And again, I'm, I make myself feel like this. You don't have to even fill out the page if you just don't feel like writing. And I don't even know if I'm going to feel like writing that day, to be honest. I just know I'm very busy like, I have some things that I have to do on a personal end. And so it's just like, if I want to write, the space is there. But if I don't want to write, the space is not as big as it can be. You know what I'm saying? And then I make the spaces a little bit smaller again because I am doing my, like, food tracker. I like to track my food or... I don't know if I'll say I like to track my food because I do not like looking back at it and seeing the things that I stuffed in my mouth. <laughs> but that's exactly why I need to be writing it down so I can look and say, mm-hmm, remember when you said that you wanted to lose five pounds? Remember when you had four hamburgers in one day? <laughs> that was an exaggeration, but you you basically get the deal. So, yeah, I do like to... Have a little space to where I can write about my food. But let's go in and do the after the pen. So this is the weekly section. These are just the plans, the plans, excuse me, that I know uh, before I even really get to going. And then here it is for the daily section. As you can see, I wrote my workouts and then I have a prompt, a journaling prompt. Uh, these prompts are actually from the Coffee Monsters Co., if you go to their blog post, uh, you can see the um, the prompts that they're following for the month. So I just decided to add those here to even give myself something to write about if I feel like I don't want to write about that day. And uh, the days are cut in half, so I can write about the prompt as well as write how I felt about the day if I so choose to. But yeah, that's basically how I set up my spreads for a whole week, at least how I'm doing it this year. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.